Welcome to the YouTube video channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. In this video, I'm going to go over um, a new feature that allows you to use your GED match, GED match calculator admixture results with the Vahaduo online admixture modeling tool, the uh, mixture modeling tool for your ancestry, Vahaduo. And um, I'm going to provide a link below and I think it's really cool and I think you should try it if you have, uh, if you already, if you already have an account and, a, and you're, you're uploaded your DNA kit to GEDmatch and uh, I'll show you how to do it really quickly and I'll show you some of my results. So this is the uh, URL, this is the site here for Vaho Duo tools for GEDmatch calculators. And so it says just copy your results from GEDmatch for every calculator and paste them as comma separated values in one line in target. <coughs> and at the beginning, add your name with comma, like in the example below. And so this is an example from Dodecad World 9. As you can see in the target, uh, you, you just type in your, you know, your name or kind of any uh, identifier, comma, no spaces, and then um, your, uh, your admixture percentages from the different calculators. And they have uh, almost, not all the calculators, but uh, a lot of the calculators, they have uh, four from Euro Eurogenes. You have Eurogenes K13, K15, EU test, J test, MDLP project, uh, MDLP K23B, MDLP K11, MDLP World 22, MDLP World, Dodecad, uh, you see the, those calculators, Punt DNAL, Gedrosia DNA, and Harappa World, which is mostly uh, geared towards South Asians, but it actually, uh, I find it kind of useful for other, uh, for if you're not South Asian as well, because um, they do have some other reference populations. But I'm going. I'm just going to show you as an example, uh, Eurogenes K13. So let's just click on Eurogenes K13, and for the source, it'll bring up uh, all the population references that are used in the K13 admixture calculator and GEDmatch, and the um, percentages inputted as their uh, the coordinates, as you can see. So, and then when you click on target, and you know. You just put your name, like I said, you put some kind of identifier, your name or, or whatever, and then comma, and then um, you go to GEDmatch, and I'm already, I'm here in the, uh, you know, K13, and, uh, you know, for example, uh, you just you just go down, see the populations, is you just scroll down, you go through the percentages, and, for example, North Atlantic 18.15%, okay, and so, you would go back to um, the target, and let me just here. I'll just type in my name, comma eighteen point one five, comma, and then go back and let's see Baltic ten point fourteen. So, and then again, it's it's you know uh, it's a ten point um, ten point fourteen comma, and then it goes from left to right, it goes, uh, the results, uh, up, um, top to bottom. And then if it's like, let's say East Asian or Siberian, I get zero, right? I get, I don't have any result, uh, any results there, not even trace results. So, uh, for those again, uh, to, uh, top to bottom, left to right, but I'm just going to show you an example. If you get like, uh, you know, nothing, uh, no, no results for that admixture, that population, you just, you just, uh, let me just move this zero. You just type 0, 0.00, comma. Okay, and then, um, then you can find out the distance. Uh, it's the, the default is 25 populations, but you can increase that. And then the single, uh, you can find out the population values. Um, I usually do uh, 16 cycles for accuracy. You can also find the uh, 
you can you get you can get the distance the populations that are uh, it will factor in the closest distance to you up to two times aggregate really doesn't matter and um, so I'm just going to show you my results really quick and then I'll end the video uh, I'll just show you my results for Eurogene K13 so these are uh, this is the these are the population values for my results um, as you, you can see the distance there um, you can see 240 sources 240 reference populations I did 16 times so that's 3840 cycles 71 um, percent Ashkenazi 14.4 Italian Jewish 8.6 Southeast English 5.0 Yemenite Jewish 0.6 Karat Karatiana 0.4 Lebanese Druze and So let's see. And so this is these are this is the distance. So you can see I'm the closest distance to Ashkenazi, um, followed by East Sicilian, West Sicilian, Greek Andres Island, Central Greek, South Italian, Italian Jewish, Moroccan Jewish, Sephardic Jewish, Algerian Jewish, Italian Abruzzo, Greek Thessaly, Greek Dodecanese, Greek Simi Island. Greek Peloponnese, Tunisian Jewish, Greek Chios, Lib Libyan Jewish, Greek Macedonia Thrace, Tuscan, Albanian, Turk Cypriot, North Macedonian, Cyprian, and Greek Cypriot. That's my top 25 there in terms of uh, distance for Eurogenes K13 using the Vahadua online mixture modeling tool. Now, I wanted to show what would happen if I remove the Ashkenazi reference. What happens when I re remove the Ashkenazi reference? Well, Italian Jewish jumps up to the top. So it basically replaces uh, Ashkenazi. I get 73.2% Italian Jewish, followed by 13.4 Belarusian, 4.6 Lebanese Druze, 3.8 Southeast English, 3.8 Yemenite Jewish, and the trace results. And so then I wanted to see what would happen if I removed all the Jewish, rep the Jewish references from source and see what I would get. And so, kind of interesting, but uh, I'm going to show you what, I, what my results are without the Jewish references with uh, using uh, Eurogenes K13. And this is what I get. So, um, Lebanese Druze uh, jumps up to the top. So, I get 48.8% Lebanese Druze, 23.2% Spanish Valencia. 12.2 Belarusian, 7.6 Sardinian, 4.2 Egyptian, 2.8 Tunisian, and then the trace results. 0.6 Karatiana, Karatiana, 0.6 Saudi. So, yeah, as you can see, you can sort of see a little bit what's somewhat of the uh, admixture that's beneath, uh, that's, that's sort of being masked by the Jewish references by the Jewish populations. And I'm 100% Ashkenazi Jewish according to the Ancestry uh, Ancestry DNA. And so, yeah. So basically, 48.8 uh, Lebanese Druze is, uh, is what shows up at the top. And I've seen other, other results for Ashkenazi Jews, and they get similar when they remove the Jewish populations, Jewish references from the Eurogenes K13, running it with the Vahadu online uh, mixture tool, they also get Lebanese Druze at, as, at go, going up to the top of there. So that's a little bit, that's, that's very, very briefly, just wanted to go over this, this brand new feature uh, with Vahadu where you can um, input your, um, your population percentages that, are run, that you run through the GEDmatch admixture calculators, and you can sort of um, see the distances uh, different the different population references and also you can run the um, run, run the uh, cycle uh, cycles and see uh, the population values that you get and what and sort of mo try to model your admixture your your uh, ancestry and that's it thanks so much thanks so much for watching